money without strings attached well, to it. Well, the 33 billion is 33 billion in new investment. And what is required to, to have 33 million in new investments? You need stability. Uh, you need good uh, procedures. You need to be welcoming to, uh, to the private sector. So we will be working with governments to establish those mechanisms that will support successful investments on the continent. How come you've been really late to the party? Because let's face it, uh, U.S. investment amount to about $60 billion. The Chinese, who 14 years ago had only $10 billion on the ground, we are now talking about $170 billion. Mm -hmm. The European Union, $200 billion. Well, I would disagree with you that we're late to the party. You, you, you say that the Chinese came uh, on board 10 years ago. We have been on the African continent for more than five decades. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had investments on the continent for more than five decades. The numbers are not as high uh, as the other countries have come into the continent of Africa, and we welcome that because we think every country investing in Africa helps build a, an African economy that is global and that will contribute to these countries investing in their next generation. But if you had just one chance, one opportunity, and you looked direct in the camera and had something to say to the African continent, to the ordinary people on the continent, as someone that was largely beloved in Liberia as the people's ambassador, what would you say to them? That's, uh, that's a great question. And I guess what I would say is this conference and the lead up to this conference, the Young African Leaders Initiative, gave me immense confidence in Africa's future. Africans should know that Africa's future is bright, that Africa's future will be prosperous, and that Africa's greatest resource is people are excited to be part of that future, and we want to be there with them. Well, I would like to stop right there. I'd like, of course, to take this opportunity to thank Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs for joining us today. Again, it's always an honor to host you on Straight Talk Africa. Come again. Thank you very, very much, and I look forward to it.